He attacked the he attacked the thing. Oh, thank you, thank you, Boulder. That Boulder was my savior. That was so close to death. I need to fix this and get a new weapon. I was hitting them for less than they were hitting me. This is so bad. Um, but we're not dead. We're not dead. As I was saying, as long as we're not dead, I'm okay. I'm not healing very fast because I'm in pain and super hungry. Yeah, I'm alive because of a bug. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, my staff's even even more broken now. Yeah, I was dealing fours. Yeah, maybe that weight was useful. Maybe it did save me. Okay, okay. Mm, I have some meds. I'll use my last little bit of medicine. See, I'm not going back to the brewery. I don't have weapons. I, oh, pick up the pitchfork. You're right, you're right. Even this super terrible pitchfork's got to be good. Yeah, it's got to be better. Yep. Yep. That's a good call. I would have left it there. Because I was, I was literally hitting them for less than they were hitting me. Thank you for that. That's a good call. That's a super good call. And I should have been picking up the weapons anyways. Boar. Where's the boar? Oh no. Where? I can't see it. Okay, it's down there. I'm going up here. Okay, okay, okay. Little spooky. A little spooky. Unborable. Yeah. That was not great. Ooh, no, no. Is my psyche really that bad? Because I've been near death over and over? Yeah. I need to keep an eye out for the... And I've been so hungry this whole time, too. This has not been a great start. But I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I was conservative, conservative enough that I didn't die, so that's okay. Got about 15 minutes left of Stone Shard, so I think I'm actually... I might extend Stone Shard into my Valheim time just for like 10 or 15 minutes today. Um... I just want to kind of get my character in a little bit of a better state before I, I send off for the tomorrow stream. I'd like to come back in a smoother place. But we might we might get there over the next 15, 20 minutes. And I think my AC just kicked on or has been on for a little while. I just noticed it. I'm going to turn it off just so there's no background noise. So I'll be right back. It's a little warm in here, but that's fine. I'm used to it. And I don't know if these give um, the morale. How, how? Yeah, I'm not going to get my hunger down from eating them, so I'll just wait and cook them. Say my sausage, yep. Okay, okay. World's greatest stone shard player is unable to complete the Oaken Barrel Brewery. That's fine. And we should be... Yeah, I was about to say we should be pretty close to home, but we were all the way there. And those wolves weren't there anymore. The wolves, they did they did vanish. So it's been, been long enough for the overworld to reset, it looks like. How much money do I have? That's not a lot of money to buy stuff with uh, as far as, like, getting a new weapon. Oh, but I didn't pick up my weapon from the, the guy. I'm a, the free weapon. That'll help. Um, I don't think they have any really good weapons for sale. The, uh, the guy... Or no, I, what I'm so so uh, I got a little lost. The free weapons, I don't think they're good enough to use. So I think I'd rather purchase a weapon and get the crossbow. Take an axe from the guy. Two hand axe. Okay, I might give that a try. And I'm just cooking up my mushrooms. Let me see. Do they give you any morale? They give you some morale. That's okay. Glad I cooked them then. My morale is so low. Because I'm in pain and stuff. I'm going to go to sleep. Take a spear. I'm, I'm getting conflicting info. Spear or two-handed axe. I'll just sleep till the morning. Which, which one is the best for no skills? Because I'm not going to put skills into it. I just want the best weapon that is like a that exists on its own merits. Because I don't think I'll be able to buy one with this amount of gold. I'll check the shop first, um, but I don't. I don't think so. And I don't really want to buy expensive food here either. I'll just buy a chicken, and then I'll, I'll have to for I'll have to harvest. Uh, harvest. Jeez.
the axe does more damage still. Okay, I'll take the two-handed axe. I'll go for it. I trust you, Snork. But I'll check here. If there's something that's particularly eye-catching... Hmm. There's no fumble on the free axe? Okay. Yeah, so then, um... Seems like the axe is probably the better choice. And, yeah, none of this is drawing my eye. Maybe this, but I'm, I'm just gonna go get the free axe. Um... So I apologize for not doing this earlier. Um... Isn't it the lumberjack axe? I don't know. I'll check. We'll, we'll figure it out here. We'll see in just a moment. Should be a dolier. And I think that's how you say that word. Doli, dolier? Dolier? Let's see. Let's find out live together. Do, dolier. Dolier indeed. This is good though. 20 damage. Um, no downsides. Well, like the energy cost, um, which will make casting my spells worse, but... That's okay. Not a, not a terrible energy, not a terrible uh, downside. And the upside is I'm not going to be hitting for one. So I don't even, I guess I want my staff for when I swap to, um, for spell casting. Yeah, this is still much better than, than my, my broken staff. So I'm going to repair my gear. I'll get water on the way back. Oh, okay. So if, if, Mm, yeah, they're the positives and negatives, I guess. There's, you know, they seem pretty similar, but I'll try to do my best to swap to this after I've cast my spells. Um, and so I'm not getting that big debuff, not casting spells with it out. Yeah, that's true. Axe has the bleed chance. That's always good. And these are fine. I don't need to repair these. Mm, I go, oh, I will. I'd rather have them taken care of than not. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm bonking. I'm, I only cast, like, like I put the three boulders, put my shield up, or my armor up, and then I'm out of mana entirely. And I say mana instead of energy sometimes. Uh, please forgive that. They're, 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 you know, it's mana. It's what you use to cast spells. But so if I say mana, I, I definitely just mean energy. I'm, I'm completely broke. I can't even buy it, so... Okay, I'm going to do a little wandering to get my character together. Um, I'm not going to go back to there. It might be better with my, my axe as opposed to the healer staff. I'm too broke. I spent all my money. I forgot and spent every last coin I have. Or aren't they like five or something? Or maybe they sell for five and they cost 50. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm at eight gold. Um, yep, can't do it. Yeah, it's like 50 to buy. So if I get a little gold, there was none in there. But if I get some gold, I'll come back and check. I was saying this on my other stream, uh, I went down to zero gold on one of my characters and I was like, that's actually impressive. It's hard to actually go down to zero gold in this game. I had not a coin to my name. So uh, I haven't gone to the left much, so I'll just explore this point of interest. And am I near in level? Not really. Maybe I'll get level four before I uh, go to the, the brewery, which is just like so over the top even saying that is like silly sounding but I, I don't know i feel like i need it so i'm gonna do it and i'll switch to my really bad staff just so i'm not spending extra mana and then i'll switch back hopefully when combat comes oh whoa an 11k armor jeez snort what was that like the that that super heavy the, the plate thing the, the rare, unique plate that you get from the graves? That's a super expensive armor. And I'm just taking my clicks so, so short, so, so small, um, because I'm scared. There's a point of interest here, right? Yeah, there's something... Okay, ooh, and that's a... This is a beehive. I don't want to go to the beehive. Um, I won't even identify it, because the death stingers, I don't have any mobility. So I, I wish I could get the uh, the EXP for identifying it, but that's fine. So it'll still say question mark, but I will be able to remember that's a, a beehive. And then, yeah, my morale is so low that while I'm out... Oh, and I'm, I'm hungry too. I'll be hungry and I have no money for food, so I really need to forage. Um, I was thinking I should forage just for morale, but I should be foraging because my character is going to be hungry and I have no money to buy him dinner with. Yana here is going to have to go to bed hungry. 
But these chanterelles, I think they give two morale, if I remember correctly. But that's just off the top of my head. But I think you get 2% morale. Oh, I found a jousting armor in Bryn. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was so expensive. That is indeed quite expensive. Yeah, before the full plate. But still, that's still a really good armor. Mm, raspberry bush is kind of far away. I'll just leave it. And I'm just, as I've said before, yeah, 22 protection. That's really good. Yeah, that's that's plenty fine. 22 is, is more than enough. And there's another little off to the left of the map. There's another uh, dungeon area. I could go, like, I could, in theory, just check it out um, and fight people there without a quest, but that I'm not going to do that. Um... Maybe I could do that, actually. It's just a level one dungeon. Um, so maybe I will go back and do that. That seems like a good way to um, to get a little EXP. And did I... I've already been to the human... Yeah, I've been to the human place, so there won't be a uh, fire. Got unlucky till now. That seems like a little, a little change in luck. That seems like a pretty decent little buy. And it's, I guess it's a good thing you had the 11 grand for it, too. That's a fair amount of money. Can I make a campfire without a skill? You don't have to make a skill to make a campfire, right? Yeah, you already have it. Okay. Just put that here. And then what do I need? Two wood? Four sticks. Okay, because I want to cook my... my um... Yeah, even if expensive, still worth worthwhile. But I want to cook my uh, my mushrooms up. And I got a little, a little handful of them. So um, right before I go inside the dungeon, I'm going to cook them up. And it should be, yeah, it's just to the south. Ooh, rhubarb? That's good for, for hunger. What does it cause, though? There's a little bit of a downside. Um, that's a tiny amount of intoxication. I'll, I'll go ahead and eat it. The thirst, I'm not worried about at all. You know, I might as well grab these while I'm here. Just because I'm about to start cooking them. I have enough hunger. Yeah, I should be able to eat most of my mushrooms. And then I'll go in there quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time in there. Um, I'm not going to, like, he ate the rhubarb. What's, what's wrong with that? It's just, like, a little poison, right? Unless I'm misunderstanding? I hope I... I don't know. I'm, I don't know. It's, I, I should be fine, though. Nothing from the morale. I'll eat them later then, because I want the uh, morale. Oh, these these chanterelle don't give. Just teasing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I thought chanterelle gave morale, so that I was wrong. It's uh, only the. Oh, those weren't chanterelle. Those were. They were. They weren't cooked. That's what it was. Lol. I just ate a bunch of uncooked mushrooms. What a waste of mushrooms. So they do give morale. That's what I thought. It's one and then um, it's three, right? One and then three over 30 turns. So my morale might go back up to a decent amount with all those. I wish I ate all of them cooked. That was a mistake. And I don't have a quest here, as I've mentioned. Um, I'm just hanging out, getting the XP. I'll kill this bat with just my melee attack. Halfway to a level. Ooh, trap. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm doomed. Yes, you are doomed. I can hit him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just knock him over towards me. I guess I'll get rid of this uh, boulder. I need to do that. That should be... I need to keep my mind, like, on that. Like, this boulder I don't want anymore, so I'll destroy it. Oh, well, he stayed there. It would have been good to actually keep it. destroy this one okay i think i'm doing good yeah bonk before eight damage now chop 25 crit yeah i confirmed confirmed the axe is a huge increase over my weak little staff i'll finish him off with melee if he stops running i will okay and this guy shouldn't why why did he open that door what i didn't know the zombies could open doors i literally thought they just couldn't um 
And I don't want to fight the mage and the zombie and stuff all at the same time. So I'm going to try to line him up in the little hallway. Oh, and he got on fire. Even better. Oh, the rat caught on fire from the dead zombie. Let's go. My luck is turning around. I say luck like I've been unlucky before. That was all... My skill was, was hurting me before, not my luck. Um, but my luck's doing good. Okay, okay. Destroy this. Just rest. Getting closer to that level. Looks like there was something up there, but I don't think they noticed me. Yeah, I'm fine. Drink some water. I'm not going to salve. And I'll pull my sword back out. And hopefully take care of this skelly boy pretty easily. And I want to knock him that way so he goes down, hopefully, onto the wall. Maybe I could knock him this way, even, and he'll go straight down. Oh, and I should have destroyed the boulder right away. Destroy boulder. Walk one back. Knock him away. Oh, he didn't get knocked back. I'll use my armor. I'll swap weapons. That's worth it. Oh, and he keeps attacking the boulder. Yeah, I don't know. I'll take it. That's fine. Um, Maybe the club's worth a little bit. Nope. I didn't think it would be. I'm just, you know, I'm so poor that I might end up taking those weapons with me. Oh, this is the boss. Nope. Oh, this is bad, isn't it? I shouldn't have drugged the boss out here because he's going to reanimate the skeleton now. Yep. That was not the correct decision. It's okay. I'm not doing this quest. I was just coming for some EXP, so I'll just leave. See a nerd? Um, so I'll just get my EXP elsewhere, and then I'll come back and do that. That that won't affect the quest at all. Like I'll, the the boss will still be in the same state, but um, I won't fail the quest for that or anything. And I don't know what to take for my level still. Um, like I, I'm trying to get another level just to be a little more powerful, but I don't know what uh what I can take. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe tonight after the stream I might do some some googling, see see what people are doing for for the geomancy builds. And I'm just going to head south. Hoping for some bandits. Don't want the, you know, the animals. They're a little spooky. Another point of interest. I'll go check it out. Because if it's a camp, that might be just enough EXP to get me to, to the next level. And if it's not a camp, then I'll be able to learn a little bit about my map. And there's always a chance. I haven't come across any of them, but there's, like, cool stuff. There's things that aren't just basic camps. Um, and I'd like to come across some of that stuff. Yep, so I'm on the right tile. And if I just go diagonally, um, the, the question mark, the point of interest, is almost always in the middle of the map, so I should find it just by running down diagonally. I'll pull my staff out to cast some spells with. Well, I say it's almost always in the middle of the map, and I, I feel like I've gone right past it. I think I'm almost to the edge of the next map. Yeah, I missed it. My, my diagonal wasn't correct where it wasn't right in the middle. Hmm. That leads me to believe it's not a camp. I feel like I would have seen the edges of it, so it might be a little a little uh, animal den. Yes, whoa. Death Stinger Hive, get me out. So I found it, uh, and I know I'm never coming back to it. I'm going to avoid that like the plague. And then I'll just kind of go back around. Am I in a, a pine forest here? Yeah, I don't want to be in the pine forest. I don't want to come across any uh, moose. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back towards the regular forest as soon as possible. Die equal dead. Yep. Moose. Oh, point of interest. I'll go down and check it out. 
And then I think after I go to that point of interest, I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna move on to Valheim for the day. Whoa. Oh, there is a moose. Why are moose... I thought moose were only in pine forests. I'm definitely not touching that moose. I don't know what it's killing, but it's killing, like, a whole pack of... Oh, it's just a group of bandits. I thought it was, like, a pack of people. Yeah, wolf and moose. That's that spooky stuff. Um, that's why I didn't know they could spawn in the plains like this. Or the field. Um... I didn't know Moose were here. No, no, Snork. I gotta keep this character alive. I gotta, I gotta keep it going. The people, the people want to see level six, and I've only reached level five on stream. So I, I gotta, I gotta keep them safe. I'm hungry. I should be collecting these berries, though. I forgot that I'm so poor and hungry. It's so weird to be like poor and so poor that I'm not able to eat food in this game. You know, there are some games where food is, like, a, a big part of the progress or whatever. You know, being able to eat is, like, important. But he feels ignored now? Yeah. Mm. Poor Moose. He wanted, He just wanted a friend. He wouldn't have killed me either. He would have just hung out with me, probably. Definitely wouldn't have gored me. He was just nice. My lingonberries, they're fine. They're actually really good. Pain change is nice. I mean, I don't need it right now, but just in general, that's nice. saw some wolf up there some wolves um that might be a like a just a, a wolf area that might be the thing okay like um a little wolf den because it looks like yeah i'm at the edge of the map so um nothing would have happened could have had a friend maybe yeah oh well i missed out on that one friend and this is a. Uh, a wolf, a wolf den, almost certainly, and I don't want to interact with it. Oh, you know what? The deer can't run away from the edge of the map, though, can they? Let's go. Look at all these deer. Oh, can they run away to the edge of the map? No, I just couldn't see them there. Yeah, free, free deer estate. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. They give, like, some EXP, right? I'm not just murdering these animals for no reason. There's there's a, a point to what I'm doing. I swear, there's a reason I'm smashing boulders up against these deer. Officer, I'm not doing it for no reason. Okay. And they gave, like, six EXP. And then no meat or anything, because I can't skin them. So that was kind of a waste of time, actually. I thought they gave a little more EXP. Ooh, and some... Okay, here we go. Here's some people. Uh, I'll cast a boulder here, and then swap. I'll just get rid of the boulder. Ooh, I... There's... I, I don't... I hope there's not another person up there. Um, I don't want to fight three people. The 20 damage axe is so much better than my spear. Or my staff. I can't believe... Like, I... That was so bad. Like, what was I doing with my time using that spear? Just, like, what's wrong with me? And I, I should have switched off or whatever, but I, I'm okay using all my energy. I didn't want to um, use a turn to switch between the, um, the, the axe and the staff, so that was intentional. Leaving the boulder up and running away, wasting a bunch of energy was not intentional, though. I should have taken it down. 1378. So yeah, I'm going to head back towards the city. We're a little bit over my, my, my allotted stone shard time. If there's any Valheim enjoyers, they're probably, you know, they're like, where's my Valheim? So I want to, I want to get that going. And, you know, I, oh, and there was a point of interest there. Oh, I knew that, though. That was the, the wolves that I ignored. Um, just because it's too spooky to discover it. Like the, the spider nest, sometimes it's just too spooky to discover. Yeah, so I'm going to head home to Ozbrook. Hopefully get the rest of this EXP in route. If I see another point of interest, I'll, I'll try to check it. Because that'll be just enough to get to level 4. And then between level 4 and my new axe, um, I should be doing a little better. Hopefully with the Oaken Barrel Brewery. And though I will reach level 4 hopefully today, I'm not going to um, put the level in. I want to, oh, overnight, I want to do a little bit of looking at what I should put it in. It makes, make some good decisions, hopefully. I'm not going to like plan out the build to level 30 or anything like that. It'll still be kind of free form, you know. But um, I just don't want to... I don't want to waste my points. You know, I've mentioned they're really important. Oh, and I need to be buying, or eat, I said buying, but I need to be eating this stuff. I'm going to go back for the rhubarb. Is spearmint food? Is this going to give me food? I know it's an herb. 
No, no food. I don't want it. So I'll just eat all these berries. That was actually a decent number of berries. I didn't realize I had picked up so many. Yummy berries. I don't think I've ever had a lingonberry. Oh, yeah. Seize the initiative is just, um... It's a lot of stats, but yeah, I don't think any of them affect your direct attack. Where... Combat mastery? Yeah. Yeah, it's no no fit no actual damage change. Just just all the other stuff. And it's fine. Um it's a good skill or whatever. But but yeah, no 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 bleh, stuttered over there. Sorry, stumbled there. No damage buffs. And there is one point of interest. Oh and I I, I pulled away from my mic because I was looking. Also no accuracy bonus. You don't get accuracy? No what do you mean? Oh, do you mean like the initial hit doesn't get it? That you, you, like when you deliver the strike, it doesn't have those bonuses? Is that what you're referring to? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This, this, it does the attack, and then following the attack, you get the buff. It's like they're separate things, I think. Um, but so this, this point of interest, you can tell it's not a, it's not a little camp. It's something special. It's, there's a building here. Um, so I'm definitely going to check that out. I'm really, uh, really, I've wanted to see these for a while. So I'm going to check that out. And my, I don't know if it's being picked up on the mic. I figure I should note it though. My dog's stomach, he has some, some minor stomach issues um, and his stomach makes some noises. Uh, so if that's being picked up on the uh, microphone, I apologize. Um, I know it's there. Uh, I, th we've, we've talked to the vets about it and stuff. This is the witch's hut. That's super pog. But yeah. So if you're hearing my dog, his stomach, um, I'm sorry. He just feels sick. He's a little, he's a little ill. Um, this is really cool, though. Finding this witch's hut is great. I was thinking that right on target also buffs that, but it doesn't. Um, what is right on target? I don't even know what that skill is by the name. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that skill is at all by the name. Tier two left side. Oh, I just went past it. Increases the built-in stats of bonus weapons. I don't know what you mean you were thinking it buffed it, but it doesn't. Does it, um, like, if you use right on target, it doesn't... The attack from Seize the Initiative doesn't buff... It uh, doesn't gain the buff from right on target? Is that what you mean? Because it seems like it should. Like, I would imagine it would, but I don't know. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. I, it seems like that should work. I don't know why it wouldn't work. So this is the Witch's Hut. This is really good. Um, if you'd like to come here... This is like minor spoilers. Um, well, it's not really spoilers because we're here. If you steal anything from her, though, um, all of your gear gets curse cursed. Um, and but yeah, with all your cursed gear, uh, you it's it can be really good. It can be very useful to curse all of your gear. But she gives you a free potion, so I'm gonna get my potion. And then, uh, oh, I didn't mean to cast the spell. I'm glad she didn't like aggro on me when I cast the spell and curse me. Um, so I'm so near the EXP. Yeah, I need 11 more EXP to get my buff, so that's really good. But yeah, that, that is really strange, Snork. I would think you would get the, the right on target buff. I guess maybe uh, the Seize the Initiative attack is, like, just coded separately. Yeah, oh, oh, that makes sense because it's not a weapon skill. Yeah, you can do, like, it, you, this isn't attached to a specific weapon, and this is weapon reskills. So that actually does make sense. Um, it's just kind of a, you know, like a... a tiny little logic line you have to follow but I think that does add up that makes sense sounds good and we've only clipped into Valheim time by about 10 minutes so that's not too bad and I'll be home soon I'm hoping to come across a bandit or two. Um, and they're more likely to be on the road, and I'm, I'm, you know, kind of far away from it. I'm going up and over, so I'll get home at roughly the same time I get to the road. But I, I really want to get that level four. If I don't get it today, that's fine, though. I'm so close that any anything I kill on tomorrow's stream will be will be good enough to get the buff.
Yeah, no bandits. I'm almost home. And I don't think there's going to be any bandits here. Yeah, okay. No level. No level today. That's fine. That's fine. So today was not the most exciting stone shard day. Um, you know, I didn't really do much progress, but uh, I didn't die, and that was my real goal. I've been dying a lot, and I didn't die, so I'm glad to have not died. So as usual, I'm going to stop here. I want to thank everyone for hanging out during the stone shard. There was lots of chatting and stuff today. I really appreciate it. Hey everyone, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.